سخنران بعدی ما خانم نبیه مرمزی هستن ساکن لندن فعال حقوق زنان اهواز در لندن می باشن تحصیلات ایشان دیپلوما این چالد که از ساتک ساتک کالج لندن هسته سابقه کار ایشان در مدارس لندن هست خواهش میکنم خانم Ladies and gentlemen, I, on behalf of the Ahwazi Arab women, I would like to extend my greeting to this audience who participate in this important conference concerning women's human rights. I would like to thank, thank you for providing us with this precious opportunity to disclose the unspeakable artistic that are systematically perpetrated against the Ahwazi Arab women. I come from a region rich in oil, which is the Ahwazi Arab people have been long forgotten. For this reason, I have to say that similar to other non-Persian nations that constitute that the so-called Iran, the Ahwazi Arab people who are mainly located in the south and southwest of Iran in province that has been renamed from Ahwaz to Khuzestan, had their voices severely suppressed and suffocated. They also had their Arabic identity denied under the Pahlavi monarchy and the current regime of the Islamic Republic of Iran. My heart breaks when I, I think about the object and humane treatment that Ahwazi Arab women receive on daily basis. They suffer double persecution by the Iranian regime to their ethnicity and gender. These happen in every single aspect of their lives, in such as, as educational, health, politics, and social life. While Ahwazi Arab men are second-class citizens, Ahwazi women are regarded as a third class. Literacy amongst Ahwazi Arab men, women is around 80%, compared to around 50% for men and 20% for Iran as whole. Ahwazi women suffer from health problems to lack of adequate health facilities. As a result, Ahwazi women suffer from gynecological problems and have high incidence of infertility, stillbirth, and birth demophilities. Ahwazi Arab women are also subject to state terrorism. In the recent years, the wives of, of the Ahwazi political and cultural activists have been arrested and imprisoned along with their small children in order to put pressure on their husband to confess to a crime that they didn't commit. Women and children are often being held as hostages by the Iranian regime and often kept in detention center for months without charges. Some Ahwazi women who, are, who were pregnant miscarriage or forced to give birth in a prison with an adequate medical assistant on sanitary condition. An example is Fahima Badawi, Ismail Badawi, who gave birth to her daughter Salma in a prison. She was held in custody as a punishment for refusing to denounce her husband Ali Maturizadeh. She refused to do so. So, and is currently serving 15 years in prison. Sentence follow a secretive trial by branch three of Al Ahwaz Revolutionary Court. Her husband was tortured and forced to confess that he was a British secret agent involved in terrorist attack. Later, he was executed. As the Ahwazi Arab woman demand their rights and stand against this violation, the Iranian dictator regime perceives, perceives them as a threat against the security of the regime. In fact, it is common policy of the Iranian brutal 
regime to accuse the Ahwazi men and women of being a nation a threat against the integrity of the country as a last step to liquidate the Ahwazi people or to at least deprive them of basic social and political rights. In, in the case of women, they can be arrested. Their license, properties, belonging can be confiscated. Their right to get an education can be taken away. They can lose their jobs and there are no more chance to work in the future. All those rights were taken away and the Ahwazi women do not have the control over their lives anymore. At the end, I would like to thank every one of you for listening to me and I am asking the United Nations and other international organizations to take in consideration all the violations that are being commit, committed against women in my country. Thank you so much.